Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Right off the bat, this book was sent to me uh, by Atria Publishing for review. So I got a free copy that in no way has shaped uh, this review. There should be no bias here. Uh, they sent me books in the past that I have reviewed and have not liked. Uh, fortunately, I love this one. Today we are talking about John Connolly's The Dirty South. Uh, this is book 18 in the Charlie Parker series. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Um, I, I, right off the bat, I am not done with the main storyline uh, that Parker has been through, the, the Charlie Parker books. I am currently on book 12, The Wolf in winter, I think it's called. Um, I'm loving it. I'm already halfway through with it after two days, and these books are four or 500 pages long, so it, it's going really, really well. This one went really, really well also, but the reason why I jumped ahead to number 18 is because this is a prequel. Uh, this happens, I believe it happens uh, before um, Every Dead Thing. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does, but I would suggest, uh, this is just me speaking, uh, this isn't uh, not not I don't know if it's accurate. It's not confirmed, but I would suggest that you read Every Dead Thing and Dark Hollow before you read uh, this one. Uh, is what I would say, anyways. Uh, I really really enjoyed this one. It is uh, it's gone back to. In fact, it's probably my favorite of the non supernatural Parker thrillers. Um, it is a very basic premise. Uh, girls popping up dead. Um, there's there's scenes and there's stuff talk that they talk about stuff with sticks in this. It is very gruesome, very brutal. Probably one of the more brutal Charlie Parker books. I I really enjoy that aspect of it. Um, there I I don't want to say too much because there's some surprises uh, throughout the book, and I liked all of them. And for those of you who just want to hear, you know, whether or not I liked it, of course, I already said I liked it, but I'm giving this one five stars. It is probably the best of the non-supernatural Charlie Parker books. It's not my favorite Charlie Parker book, but it is, it, it's damn close. Um, I'd probably put it in the top five at least, which is saying something because this is number 18 in the series if you don't count the novellas um, from the short story collections. I think there's more than one. I know there's The Reflecting Eye in Nocturne. Turns, but someone told me that there's another one um, in Nocturnes 2. If that's accurate, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, but yeah, Atria Publishing sent me this one. They sent me uh, Book of Bones before that, but that one is the very last book in like the in the main series. This one's a prequel, so I'll be getting to Book of Bones eventually. Um, we're, me and my buddy Aaron Nash, hey Aaron, if you're watching this, we're going to be, uh, not spamming, but binging the rest of the series. Uh, so the next... I would say the next five, six reviews that you see from me are going to be uh, Connolly books. Also, I will be putting up a, a channel update, what you can expect next year from this channel. As of the posting of this video, other than the update, you're getting two more videos. You're getting a best of best books of the year video from me on Christmas Day, and then you're getting one more the last week. That's a surprise video. You're getting one more video from me, and th that's that's it for the year, and then we will start over, but the channel update will talk more about what you can expect next year. So, um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. There's not a whole lot else to say other than, and my review is very simple also on Goodreads. It's, it's the best, you know, not non-supernatural one. Um, I, I'm very impressed by the fact that, you know, it, we've gotten so far into this, 18 books into the series, and somehow Connolly is continuous, it, it, he's consistent with the quality of these books, and I think that needs to be applauded. Um, I, I have read books that kind of, I mean, even Stephen King series, you know, out of, the, let's say the Dark Tower series, out of seven books, two of them are terrible. None of these books were terrible. Some of them had forgettable plots, some of them had forgettable characters, but all of them have been good. 
good. I don't think I've given any of them below uh, three stars. I might have, I don't know. Um, but this is definitely the best of the not supernatural stuff. So if if you're a fan of Charlie Parker, but you think he, you know Connolly went the wrong way when he went heavy on the supernatural, this book's for you. Um, I like I said, I would I would read Every Dead Thing and Dark Hollow first because they do mention some stuff that happens in those books as far as uh, Charlie's grandfather and his father and his wife and daughter, all the stuff that happens there. So if you don't want to be too spoiled with those events, then probably read those two first. But other than that, you can read this one. I would think you could read this whenever you want to. You're just going to hear some things that might maybe spoil th some things. I can't remember. It's been so long since I read those books. Have you read this one? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. Uh, if you're just meh about it, but tell me why you liked it or why you hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.